uh, well? Do you have an EPDM roof? Do you have a fiberglass roof? Um, and then you want to make sure what kind of fasteners you use. You want to kind of look at your roof to find out where the cross braces are. You would not want to just screw the solar panel to like the Luon decking that's up there. You really want to look around. Uh, you can get one of those little stud finders to find out where that cross brace is and make sure you're screwing it to that. Uh, wind gets caught up on these things and, and wants to do an airplane lift on it, you know. So um, that would be, and, and sometimes you need to modify the mounting brackets a little bit where they attach to the solar panel if you're off by a little bit um, where your cross member is. Some of your RVs, their roof is a little bit thicker. They might go with a half inch plywood or something. Um, so that's a little bit of a better grip. Um, but once you penetrate the roof, you're going to want to seal that. Um, uh, um, who is it? Uh, Dicor, um, the one I use is called Geosil, uh, has an EPDM uh, self-leveling product. I'm, I'm, I like, I've been used them all, but the, the Geosil just seems to stay wider longer. <laughs> um, I'll do a job and then we'll come back a couple years later to work on something else and I'll look at the work that I did previously a couple years before. And um, the, the Dicor does great, it, it bonds, but it just kind of turns yellowish. And, uh, but I've done jobs where I use a Geosil and it's still bright white. So for no other reason, I kind of like that a little bit better. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, you do want to seal it really well. When I'm sealing a roof, I'm visualizing on water. So the first thing you want to do when you're sealing that is you really want to make sure that the roof is clean uh, because sealing is not going to stick to a dirty roof. You're going to be sticking it to a dirt or something. So you really want to make sure that that's clean really well. Uh, I'll put some butyl tape under the foot of the, the solar panel and let that butyl tape kind of it, it's the kind of, uh, it's like a tacky or a butyl tape or a, um, I call it poo-poo tape. A lot in the trades call it poo-poo tape. Uh, so you put that under the foot, you screw it down, and then you would seal that around with a self-leveling sealant. Um, uh, then you run your, your wires, um, and I like to put a fuse between the solar panel and my charge uh, controller. Because uh, if there's a bolt of lightning or something like that that set these things off, that might that bolt of lightning could take out your charge controller. So um, what size fuse would you use? Well, that's a function of the controller. That's a function of how many um, solar array, how large your solar array is up on the roof. And there's a math calculation. You can figure that out. And then, so then I would fuse from the, uh, so there's one set of fuses. I would do a fuse from the charger to the batteries. Um, uh, there's an arc. You, you just want to fuse all these different pieces so they're all islands within themselves that are protected from the fuses. And there's enough information out there to get the size of the fuse. There's enough information out there to get the size of your wire. There's enough information out there to wire your, your array either in a series or a parallel or a series parallel configuration. So there's my short answer. So anyway. <laughs>